Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alan, and I'm from the United States, specifically from New York. And welcome to my channel, Brazijikas. In this video, I'm going to teach you some more phrasal verbs in English that we use in day-to-day -day conversation. As I've explained in previous videos, a phrasal verb is made up of a main verb and a preposition. However, phrasal verbs can be very difficult to notice and understand since adding the preposition completely changes the meaning. So today, let's learn eight more phrasal verbs commonly used in the USA. Here we go. Number 8. Brush up. If you brush up on something, it means that you renew a skill that you previously had. I have an interview for a job at a bilingual school. I really need to brush up on my Spanish. Number 7. Let down. If someone or something lets you down, it means that they disappoint you by not doing something you expected them to do. Even though there were some technical difficulties, the singer continued the concert because she didn't want to let down her fans. Number 6. Add up. If something adds up, usually a story or a series of events, it means that it makes sense or seems reasonable. I don't want to call him a liar, but his story about how he lost his job just doesn't add up. Number 5. Put off. If you put something off, it means that you wait until a later time to do it, usually because of a problem or because you simply don't want to do it. Even though my friend knows he needs to go, he keeps putting off going to the dentist. Number 4. Tuck in. To tuck in means to take a piece of clothing or fabric and place it under another piece. This restaurant is fancy. You should tuck in your shirt to look more classy. Number 3. Sort out. Sort out is a phrasal verb that means to do what is necessary to deal with a difficult situation or to find a solution to a problem. After months of gathering the necessary documents, I was able to sort out the issue of renewing my visa. Number 2. Wear off. If something wears off, it means that it loses the effectiveness or intensity that it started with. The effects of the numbing injection wore off after a few hours. Number 1. Lighten up. This last phrasal verb means to become more relaxed and less serious about a situation. Lighten up, man. I was only joking. So, guys, that was my list of eight phrasal verbs commonly used in the USA, part four. Phrasal verbs are used a lot in English, and knowing them will help you sound more like a native speaker. If you enjoyed this video, or learned something new, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. Until next time, and thanks for watching.